It was an era that rattled American complacency. In 1968, assassins had violently cut off calming voices of peace. Martin Luther King, Robert Kennedy. The Vietnam War was growing more intense and, for Americans, worse. An African-American uprising had left Detroit in flames. So President Lyndon Johnson appointed a group headed by Illinois Governor Otto Kerner to study what caused the Detroit riots. The landmark report found the crisis in America was based on poverty and race, a nation profoundly split between black and white, rich and poor. It was a shock to people in the nation, uh, although it was describing what many had seen. Uh, two nations divided, one black, one white. This week, 50 years later, an update to the Kerner Commission report says by many standards, the rifts in American society have grown worse. Child poverty is up. 14% then, 22% now. School segregation has returned to 1968 levels. A yawning education gap between the number of blacks, whites, and Hispanics who go to college has widened. I would oversimplify to say it's a governmental fault. I think it's a societal fault, right? I think each of us have a responsibility um, that if our government isn't a reflective of what we need, to make sure that we, we lobby them and that we, we explain to them the, the important and the urgency in doing the work. So I think it may... It, Part and parcel of the issue is absolutely the government and their way that their inability to really provide us with the additional supports. The report blames budget cuts since the 1980s to poverty programs, desegregation, mental health, housing, and schools. We haven't gotten there yet, um, but the goal of us to push us there, to center this event, to really talk about racism and classism in this, in this space, as we have number 45 in office, it is, it is our obligation to make sure we do that. We, have, we can no longer say that that's something we'll talk about five years from now. I don't want to be here 50 years from now talking about this again. That is a wake-up call, the report's authors conclude, that has largely gone unanswered for half a century. John Hendren, Al Jazeera.